Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Nikki Zick, and today we're going to be painting a butterfly that metamorphoses into flowers. So I mixed up some of my colors. I'm not using a set palette. I'm using traditional colors that you have to mix. Primaries ranging from lemon yellow all the way down to ultramarine, going around to jet black. So... This is my palette, what it looks like, and I'm mixing colors. Okay, so that was very daring of me to do. Okay, so, so far, so we need, I'm not using the same palette as I did for this artwork, so it's not going to look anywhere near the same as this. Uh, so, please keep that in mind. So right now, we what I'm going to do is still use one shade of pink here, violet here and then another shade of a rosy pink here and then still two greens but just a different palette so colors are going to look slightly different so we're going to start with the pink flowers uh leaf petals actually let me get it together and what we're going to do all right and we're going to start with the dark a dark line and then pull out from the line and it will create a nice soft wash so here, we'll start with the dark line. Dark line of your color. You might need to go get more paint. Dark line. Clean your brush. And then go right with a damp brush with a little bit of water and pull that color out. You could do it again gently and pull it out now when I did this painting you can't do every petal uh, every wing section at the same time because it'll bleed so you have to do and then this one over a little but we could correct that later so you have to do every other petal um every other wing leaf section so that way it doesn't bleed so now I want to do another one that is the alternating. I can't decide which pink I like. And make sure you don't touch where you just painted. Use the strong contrast of the color from one edge. Clean your brush, dab off, and then blend that line. Okay, make sure you don't go into the green area. Once again, dark line, a little bit darker, clean water, and pull that line, pull that paintbrush color out. Okay, now we're going to the bottom section because these areas are definitely not dry yet. So we'll go into this section of the wing, dark line. Go right over the line adjacent with your wet water, clean water, and pull it out. Make sure over here, keep everything a little clean. You always can go with your, you know, your clean water brush and just clean up a little of the areas if you got a little sloppy. Okay, now we'll go into the next one. Pick up your pink. Pick up your dark paint, your dark line. Clean up your brush, dab with just plain water, and watch it blend. Once again, dark line. I hope you're getting the hang of it. If you're painting along, that's wonderful. You can leave me some comments if you have any questions. Or if you are painting along, let me know. That's great. Okay. Almost done with the pink sections of the one one brush stroke. Then we'll have to go back in and do the other section once it's dry. You come in with the water and blend the pen. Okay, a little more. Actually, that one you have to let dry. Okay, now we can go into the violet section. We're going to leave all of the pink section dry because we can't go into the alternating. Uh, 
wing sections yet because all of this is still wet. And I can go into the purple because I have this green separation going through that I haven't painted yet. So the pink and the purple are not going to touch. So we go into our purple, full contrast of color. I want to do the same idea as painting a full line. Whoops, too much paint. Painting a full line of the full contrast of the color. Full intensity, I should say. And then clean your brush, dab it off. Make sure you don't drip. And then go right against that color and watch it bleed. Okay, we're going to go into the alternating purple now. And this is a large one, so I'm going to put a lot more purple on this. A little more paint. Now with the clean brush, dab off, go against that, and pull the color down. We might need some more paint. Because like I said, this is a large wing section. And just pull it down. And move the paint. Whoops, that's some water. And move the paint in that section of the wing. Okay, we'll come down to this section. A dark line. Maybe too dark. Pull water. You can always dab away. And pull in that section of the wing. Okay. Fix it up with some clean water. Okay, now we're going to the bottom section where we have a different pink. I mixed more of a reddish violet. We're going to go into that now. I like mixing my own paints. It's been a while since I've done it. I've been relying on the mix. The palette's already pre-made, but there's nothing like mixing your own colors. So we do the edge once again, same idea, and use the wet brush and just pull the color out. Okay, we'll go skip here, paint, pull the color out. Okay, a little paint. You can actually be daring and do two. Pull the color out. Pull the color out. You can always add some more dark if you'd like. And watch that bleed into your color. We have one more section here. A little red-violet. And I'm going to pull it out. I actually like the colors that I selected here from my own mixed palette. They're more subdued than the palette that I was using that was already pre-made in pans. Okay, so I think we're going to take a break right now because right now I have to let this side dry before we go into any of the alternating petal uh, wing colors. So I think as it dries, I'm going to go in and finish the rest of the pink purple and red violet of the left side of the wing and then we'll go in with the greens so i'll be back with this side of the butterfly painted i hope you enjoyed the video so far if you did give it a thumbs up thank you and i'll be right back hello again it's me i just wanted to come back on and show you my progress of the left side of the Butterfly wing, I added the addition of the alternating le uh, petals. And now I just want to come on and show you, for those of you who were a little nervous to go in and do the second section of the pet uh, leaves, of the, the leaves, the wing. I'm not used to saying a wing. So here we go. This purple is already dry, so we're going to go in with the darker line. You have to do this when the sections are dry. Not wet, not damp, dry. And then you pull with clean water from the 
dark line to the other section. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. Here's the dark line of the full color. Then we'll go in, clean our brush, dab it off, and go right next to it and watch the color bleed. Okay, there's one more section in our purple wing. Do a full contrast line. Clean the brush. And pull it out with wet clean water. Okay, while we're here, we might as well come down and do the red violet section. And that will finish our pinks and violets for this side of the butterfly. We'll go in with a full contra full concentrated color. Let me have a wet clean brush and just pull it out. Full contrast color. And you don't have to worry about these colors touching because we are putting black outlines on this whole artwork so that won't be a problem okay we'll do full contrast here now we're gonna do this one i didn't pull yet i'm just putting a darker line than usual because got a little muddy over here just very faint lines of water because I want to keep the highlight areas. Okay, one more section of violet, red violet, down at the bottom. And then we'll, whoops, that water wasn't too clean. Okay, and there we have our last wing section. Okay, now everything on the left is too wet to add the two different greens. So we're going to stay away from the left side. Now we're going to go into the right side and start adding the flowers. So I'm using a medium size round brush. We're not using any dagger brushes today. And we're not doing any traditional shaped roses. We're just doing the indication of a flower. But these do look like roses. So you'll see my technique, it's a little different. Well, it's a lot different than what we do for regular roses. It's just a loose stylized rose. So we load up our paintbrush and we just do loose roses. You could thin out your paint a little, make it a little more watery, okay? And you keep them um, tightly uh, spaced because we're not going to really add any leaves. We'll add some green accents here and there, but we're not adding any green inside our leaves, inside our flower wing. Okay, so we'll see. It's your judgment. There's no right or wrong. You decide where you want to have your pink. I'm going to bring some down because it is, we're mirroring what's on the left on the right. So we'll add another pink flower here. We'll come down. I did add some green leaves, but all leaves are on the outside perimeter of the wing. Add another one here. Okay. Now we'll go into our violet corner here with the purple. Actually, I want to add one more pink. They all look like they're blending together, but they will be separated once you add the other colors. And the black details gives it more definition. Okay, so now we're going to go up with the violet. Add some water. You don't want it too dark because we did dilute our flowers, wings on the other side. So we don't want our purple or other colors to be too highly concentrated. We do want to have some washy effects in the flowers on this side. OK. 
I have to start dark and do a wash. I put a little dark, as you see. So I'm washing the edge, I'm making my rose. A little more purple. Okay. Now we'll move down into this section here. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. We're using the red violet now. We go in, make a flower shape. Okay, we'll go in here. Make another one. This is just a messy rose. We do different sizes to make it more interesting. The scale, playing with the scale of things always makes things more interesting, as we all know. Put a small one here, just as we're talking about it. Then we'll come in with a large one on this side. It hit the pink a little, it's okay. Hopefully we won't have too much bleeding. I think I'm going to add one more violet, red violet, and then one more pink once it dries. This is our red violet. And actually, there's no room, so we'll just make these flowers a little bigger. Okay. So now we have to let the right side dry before I take my hand over to the left side. So I'll stop right now, let this dry. As you see, the right side is very wet. And we'll be back. Hello, everybody. We're back. This is Nikki Zick. Welcome to my channel. And we're working on a butterfly that metamorphoses into flowers. Uh, during the little intermission, I had to take my paper off the pad because it was starting to buckle. Because, as you can see, it's still a little buckling. But um, I, that's why I prefer using a block of paper. And now you see the reason why. Because if you do one side and the other, it just gets all warpy. So right now we're going to go back into our painting. Enough about the wallpaper. We'll try to make the best of it. Let me see if I can lift this out a little more. And get that. Okay. So we're going to concentrate on the left side and finish it up with the light green and darker green. We'll work about worry about the black at the end of the whole video. Let's see. I'll get my smaller paintbrush. We're going to start off with the ins. Actually, we're going to start off with the outer edge, which I did in a different kind of a green, more of a yellow green, like olive. So we'll paint with that. We want it to a thin consistency, semi-transparent, could be a little bit more opaque if you want it to be, and just follow up the line of your pink wing. Go up the edge, you might need a little more paint. And you can go down and let it meet. Once again, down. The paint is a little dry. Bring it down. Bring it down. Now work on the edge. Follow the scallop. Go around the edge. Remember, leave room for the inside green that we're going to put. So go around the scallop. You could do it in one sweep and go back and pull and do the top of the scallop. Okay, we bring it to the center point. We do not go in because that's where our other uh, brighter grass green is going to go. So we're going to go down the edge. Scallops. One scallop, two scallop. We'll go around the edge. We'll draw with our paint. One, two, three. And then do the inside. I'm sorry if this is coming off camera, Ed. But I had to tape my paper down. Okay, one, two, three. 
and then do the scallop edge following the paint line that you did for the inner scallop. Once again, we'll do the inner scallop, do the outer part to match. And then we're going to come up the wing of the butterfly using the yellow green, gradually go up and meeting at the top with the first green line that we did. If you want, you can make it a little wider and let them join, blend out your green. And there you have it. Okay, now we're going to have to take another little break to let this dry and then to go into the grass green. We'll be back. 